The Island of the Dolls in Zachamilco, The Disturbing and Sad Story The place has always been the subject of spooky legends, but the real story behind it is really sad, La Isla de las Munecas, located in the canals of Zachamilco, south of downtown Mexico City, very close to the soccer stadium Estadio Azteca, is a chinampa of the Texuilo Lagoon and one of the main attractions of the canals. It is no news that Mexico is a tourist destination for thousands of people every year. Its beaches of crystalline waters or the ruins that the Mayan Empire left behind, anchored for history, are more than well known. However, among all these wonders, there is an area known as Zachamilco, formed by almost 200 kilometers of navigable canals and nature, just 20 kilometers south of Mexico City. There, among the many small islands there is a special one, an island that stands out for its macabre history and, especially, for its terrifying landscape. The place is called Island of the Dolls and, as its name suggests, it is full of dolls that give goosebumps to anyone who approaches it. In the center of the island we find a small house, inhabited at the time by a single person, Julian Santana Barrera, who lived there for more than 25 years. The legend of the island says that in the 50s, when Julian Santana lived there, a girl drowned in one of the canals that crosses the island when she became entangled in the lilies on the shore. The man, who took care of the original islet in total solitude, could do nothing to save her. It is said that shortly after the event, the girl's ghost appeared in Santana's dreams, and at the same time, he began to hear screams and cries in the surroundings of the island, supposedly produced by the girl, who sought to torment the protector of the island. However, what most shocked our protagonist was the appearance of a doll in the water shortly after the girl died, which was said to belong to the drowned girl. In fear of the girl's ghost and grieving for not having been able to save her, Julian decided to protect his house with dolls of all types and sizes, which would function as guardians. As a result, he began to find more and more dolls abandoned in the canals, which he decided to hang up. Thus, he went from a few to more than 1500. Obviously, we are talking about abandoned dolls so that their image instills even more fear, many of them are missing limbs, have empty eye sockets, are dirty or rotten. Many believe that this story was nothing more than an imaginary one of his own making, but legend or not, the man would end up suffering the same fate as the girl. In 2001, an aging Julian Santana went fishing in one of the canals with his nephew. There, he confessed to his relative that there was a mermaid in those waters that had been trying to take him away for a long time. At one point, the nephew went to check on the cattle grazing in the area, but when he returned with his uncle, the latter was dead floating in the river. The autopsy revealed that the cause of death was a heart attack. From that moment on, the place would be called the Island of the Dolls, a place where silence is intermingled with tragedy and mystery. Legends say that every night, the terrible dolls were possessed by the spirit of the girl and accompanied Julian in his last days. Tourists who travel to this place also claim that there is a certain air of witchcraft about the place. The dolls seem to move their heads and limbs, and some even follow you with their eyes, or at least that's what many of the curious who visited the place say. Only Julian Santana knew what really happened, if something really happened. In any case, everything depends on the beliefs of each one, although regardless of the legends, the place deserves to be visited at least once in life.